Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you all about the latest from Devil Driver, Dealing with Demons Volume 1, out October 2nd on Napalm Records. The album has 10 tracks, 39 minutes in length, and this is the band's 9 full length studio album. This is a theme album. I wouldn't go as far as to call it a concept record. To me, this is more of a theme album that starts off with the title of the record and moves into the title of the tracks and then the lyrical content. This is all about dealing with your own inner demons and how you exercise them, how you push them out of your life. Now, when you look at the structure of the record, this is a really well-balanced album, top to bottom. There are no pivots, there are no dips, just consistency from the first track all the way to the last track as far as the overall structure of the album and even the individual structure of the songs are concerned. A lot of stability, a lot of balance and a lot of cohesiveness across every single track on this record. Now when you move into the overall soundscape of the album, you have to have an, a record that comes at you fast, that's hard hitting, that's heavy, that is intensive because you're dealing with a topic that's very intense in itself. So the only way you deal with it is by exteriorizing all that anger, all that anguish, all that pain and suffering that you've been building up on the inside. And when it comes out, sometimes it's ugly, sometimes it's intense, sometimes it's aggressive. And that's exactly what you're gonna get on this album. When you take a step back, the overall soundscape is very similar across all 10 tracks. And that is because the theme really permeates across all 10 songs. There are different demons, but you kind of deal with them almost in the same fashion. So from a sound perspective, the songs stay very close together. But when you look at the individual tracks, you start to see some differences between them. The approach, the, the way they're created, the way things are put together. The elements may be the same, the guitars may be the same, the drums, the vocal approach, all of that may be the same, but they were tackled differently on every single song because every single demon gets a slightly different response from you as an individual. So that response also has to be represented in the individuality of the music on the song itself. And I felt that they did that and they created an album that has an overall big picture, but it still has 10 individual tracks that play into that bigger picture. Really well done, really well put together from a sound perspective. I really like the guitars on this album. To me, when you start to break down the sound, the guitars take front stage. Really groovy approach, heavy at times, melodic, intertwining those elements between themselves on a song by song basis, but even within a songs itself. Really interesting, really dynamic. They have a really great sound, really polished sound that comes at you uh, with a lot of volume. And the volume sometimes uh, uh, exchanges itself and it becomes heaviness. So you're not necessarily are just having songs that are heavy for heavy sakes. You really have songs that represent the lyrical content and push that heaviness through volume, not necessarily through how heavy the riffs are or, or how heavy the drums are uh, on, a, on a separate case, depending on the track. Now the solos on this album are also important because they create a lot of melody within the tracks themselves. They kind of break the tracks from all the intensity and all the aggression that it's built in into how the songs are constructed. I like that approach because it gives a little bit of melody to the tracks and it allows the songs to have a different DNA, to have a different feel uh, and because of the way they're constructed but also because of the way the solos sound on the album. So I like this dynamic change that the guitars have. They, they come across heavy but also melodic and the solos add a lot of melody into the mixture, into the way the songs are coming across, into the way the songs overall sound and they always have to, a way of picking the perfect solo in the perfect spot in order to really make the song even better, even greater, expand the intensity that the track has and become a lot more memorable. The drums are not overpowering. They're heavy but not overpowering and that's important. I don't want the drums to overshadow the vocals and the guitars. I really want from a sound perspective the guitars to be the conductors of the sound to determine where the tracks go. I want the drums to create the bass line, to create the foundation. And that's exactly what you're gonna get on this album. The drums have power, they have heaviness, but once again, not overpowering. So they allow themselves to be that foundation, that pathway that everything else gets built upon or everything else walk, walks on top of, including the vocals. A lot of aggression from the vocals. I like the vocal approach overall on this album. They threw some curveballs, they did some changes here and there, depending on what the track called for. They didn't just take a one size fits all approach and just go from one song to the other, repeating exactly what you heard already in the previous song. 
I, I feel like if they did that, the trucks perhaps would become a little bit too repetitive and you really need to do some changes in order to better focus the intensity that the lyrics have and then transport that into the vocal approach. Overall, the vocals are really well put together. Once again, understanding the dynamic of the tracks, understanding the lyrics, and how can you represent those lyrics to its maximum potential. So I like the changes that they did. Not a lot of changes, but enough to really keep the vocals very dynamic, very engaging from the top to the bottom. I also like the raspiness that they have, the griminess that they have, because all of those elements really represent the lyrical content. It really represents those inner struggles and how you fight with those inner demons because it almost sounds like that voice inside of your head talking to you. That's how the vocals come across on this record. Overall, this is an album that has its intensity turned all the way to 11. And there was no other way of creating an album that talks about this sort of a topic and not go with that approach. There are no soft patches on this album. There are no dips as far as the intensity of the tracks is concerned. This is an album that's perfectly built and it's pure adrenaline from the beginning all the way to the end. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, I wanna start off with Vengeance is Clear. The drums are killer as they open this track and they remain killer for the rest of the track. Great guitar duality as far as the sound is concerned. You really get two different approaches from the guitars and they give you two different feels. You get heaviness and you get melody. You get both of them at the same time coming at you on two different lanes and still intertwining with the bass line that the drums create and the bass to really give you a solid sound foundation for how this track is put together. The vocals offer controlled aggression from the beginning all the way to the end. The verses are more driven in my opinion, heavier in the chorus. The chorus slows down ever so slightly. It becomes a little bit more melodic, a little bit more methodic, but I like that approach. You need a clear change between the verses and the chorus in order to create the necessary dynamic fluidity for the track to have its ebbs and flows. Otherwise it would be too flat from beginning all the way to the end. Uh, I love how this track is put together. I love how it sounds. The guitars have a great volume, uh, driven, melodic, heavy, all of those elements coming together. And then the vocals just smash everything on top of it. Perfectly built, perfectly executed track. Next, Wishing. One of my favorite tracks on the album. And perhaps because it gives me not necessarily a different soundscape, but definitely creates a different atmosphere with how all the elements come together. The guitars and drums, United bring a lot of volume to the song and they also bring melody and they also bring presence. The different vocal approach and the verses you get almost spoken word style approach really creates a different atmosphere, more melancholic and the sound allows the track to feel even more melancholic. And I love that. It's a different way of approaching a song like this. It's definitely a song that sounds different from everything else that you're gonna get on this record but it comes at you in bursts. This is a track that is not melancholic all the way through. The verses, like I said, definitely a lot more melancholic, but there are bursts of energy, there are bursts of intensity, there are bursts of heaviness. So it gives the song these jolts. It's not just up and down, there's jolts of energy that are coming at you that really break that melancholy that the track has built in in the sound and the vocals and the overall atmosphere that it has to offer. The solo is absolutely magnificent. It pulls a little bit more melody into the track, not necessarily as melancholic, and it changes, a, it gives you some light at the end of the tunnel, which you need for a song that has a very depressing atmosphere all around. I love how this song feels, and I love how this song sounds, like I said, my favorite track on the album. Last but not least, Witches, different vocal approach. This is a song that from a vocal perspective is very different from everything else on the album. Having said that, it includes some of the elements that we gotten on the previous tracks leading up to this point. Brings in a little bit of hip hop to the vocal delivery, specifically in the verses. I like that. Uh, it adds a different dynamic. It allows the song to be heavy, to still be fluid, but to be more groovy at the same time. So it, it changes a little bit of the package, but the elements that are inside the package almost remain the same from the previous tracks and from the tracks that are gonna come after this one. I love it, 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 changes, it changes directions, it changes the eyesight of the listener and it just gives you something different. Uh, the vocals in the chorus change back to more of a traditional and what I mean by traditional is everything that you got up to this point. Uh, it's more represented in the chorus of this track the verses is a lot different from everything else that you heard up until this point. So I like this dynamic change that the verses and chorus have 
more from a vocal perspective than from a musical perspective, but a very interesting track. Like I said, very groovy, and that more hip hop style approach of vocal delivery adds to the overall grooviness that the song has. This is it, this is Devil Driver with Dealing With Demons Volume 1 out October 2nd on Napalm Records. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles, use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care guys.